Hi everyone, today I'm invited to Dell's event where they have a Dell canvas on display. So I'm trying out some of the features of this canvas. And when I look at a screen like this, I usually test for a few things. Number one, accuracy. Number two, whether or not if there is any lag. And number three, if there's any sort of parallax error. So right now I'm just going to test for the accuracy. Now this canvas, it actually supports finger gestures. So you can use your finger to zoom in, zoom out. You can rotate it as well. I think when zooming, there is some slight lag, but it's quite negligible. Let me just do some very quick strokes first. It is quite responsive. Let me press down a bit harder. So this stylus, it has pressure sensitivity. And the transition is quite smooth, I would say. I can feel some slight lag though. Of course, um, usually for this kind of display, when you're drawing diagonal lines slowly, sometimes the lines tend to jitter or have some sort of wobble. So I'm going to test for that now. I'm going to draw very slowly. So this is actually quite good, quite accurate. There's no jitter when I'm drawing diagonal lines uh, slowly. Because this screen is so wide, uh, when the stylus and the cursor, when it moves all the way to the side, there is definitely going to be some sort of parallax, but you can probably correct this using software. This is a 27 inch monitor that supports a QHD resolution. So that is 2560 by 1440. The screen has a matte surface, it's nice to draw on. Now the matte surface actually diffuses light by quite a bit. So I'm trying to pan across, it doesn't um, work perfectly. Alright, maybe I haven't gotten used to it yet. So this is Adobe Photoshop CC, it supports finger gestures. If you're using it on older software, then you're not going to be getting any sort of uh, touch features. All right, let me switch over to using another software. This is Sketchable. By the way, this is actually just a monitor. This is actually a monitor, so you can connect this to any other computer. You can use this as an external display too. So this is the main difference of this compared to the Surface Studio. All right, they have this dial here. I'm not sure how to use this exactly, but um, so I shall not demonstrate it, but it actually you can sort of turn it, use it to adjust the hue and even use it to adjust the volume but you need to switch it to the different modes and right now I'm not able to do that. Everything that you see right now is actually happening uh, quite randomly because I'm, I don't know what's going on. And notice all the stray strokes here. If you actually press down on the totem, you actually create some of these dots here. I also don't know whether or not there are any buttons on the totem, so I don't know whether I should be pressing the totem or not. Oops, it looks like the program sketchable has crashed. I don't know what's happening. It doesn't rotate anymore and it doesn't detect the pen. It seems to be working now, but it doesn't rotate, so I'm not sure what is wrong. By the way, Dell told me that this unit here is actually a prototype. They are still trying to solve the glitches and bugs. So this is probably one of the bugs. So please do not consider this as a review. This is just a first impression. I just want to show you what this monitor is capable of. I will try to ask Dell for a unit to review when it finally comes out and the expected date is probably around June. No idea of the pricing but from what I have read online it seems that this is going to be priced at USD $1,800.
Now the stylus and the tablet, it supports, it supports palm rejection. However, if you were to actually um, use your finger and touch the screen, you will still get some strokes there. So to prevent this from happening, you should have your pen close to the screen. Make sure the cursor is seen first before you start drawing. If not, um, chances are there are going to be some stray strokes. There are two buttons on the pen. This is the tip. This is the hard plastic tip. And this pen, it doesn't require any sort of battery. The performance on Sketchable is quite smooth. Actually, I think it's even smoother compared to Photoshop. Dell told me that if you want to, you can swap out the tips. For example, you can swap out to a tip with more friction, like the felt tips. The hard tip, oops, can you see all those stray strokes appearing? So I, would, I don't know what's happening here. The feeling of drawing with this pen on this screen, it feels like those old generation Wacom Intuos stylus. So that's the texture. It's smooth, but it's not that smooth. This is Midibank Paint Pro. And let me pick a big brush so that I can see what I'm drawing. All right. Um, there is some problem with the stroke. That means if I draw a bit slower, you can see all these strokes uh, having start, starting with all these dots. This is probably some problem with the driver because this is not specific to this Dell canvas. I have this issue with other brands of tablets as well. But otherwise, I mean, the performance is very smooth, no lag whatsoever. And this software it supports finger gestures as well. It does feel a bit weird zooming and rotating. This is not as flawless compared to smartphone implementation. This monitor is surprisingly thin. There is a built-in stand behind. It supports only one position. These are some of the ports behind. This is the power. This looks like a mini HDMI port. This looks like a mini display port. And this is a, yes, this is a USB Type-C connector. There are a few more ports on the right side. Two USB Type-A ports and one USB Type-C and a 3.5mm audio jack. There are magnets at the top right and top left of the screen so you can snap the stylus onto the top. User interface elements like menus and buttons are quite large and comfortable to see on this QHD resolution screen. This is my friend Jerry. He is doing a quick sketch using Photoshop. Dell said that the canvas is not going to be supported on Mac OS. So even if you can connect this to your Mac, you will not be able to draw on it or get any pressure sensitivity. Hopefully they can come up with some sort of drivers to support Mac or Mac users. So far I like the look and the build quality of this monitor. It feels very solid. It feels very polished. I like the thick bezels on the left, the right, where you can put your arm to rest and draw comfortably. So that's my first impression of the Dell canvas. Dell told me that that is actually just a prototype and they are still sorting out some of the glitches and bugs. As uh, I have shown you earlier, there are some problems with the totem wheel and also some issues with the palm rejection. So they are trying to solve that. When the final retail version comes out, I will ask Dell for review units so that I can properly review it for you guys. So that's all for today's video. See you in the next video. Bye!